Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Munich here on Google Earth. I just wanted to showcase uh, a specific incredible thing that I experience for the past few years every year because here at the Akademie der Bildenden Künste, the Academy of Fine Arts of Munich, we are hovering in uh, over Munich right now and this building here in the very heart as you can see in the heart of the center of Munich lies the Arts Academy and every year in the summertime the students showcase on all three floors on the left wing and the right wing showcase all of their artwork they have created and produced over the past uh, semester the past season and it's free every summer uh, during a week in July, I think. And I just found those pictures on my computer because last year in 2023, I was there. I walked around for a few hours and took some nice photos of my favorite art artworks I have seen and enjoyed. So let me invite you to go on a nice walk with me through the Academy of Fine Arts in Munich. And let's see what the students are up to in their creative pursuit of 2023. Here's the first photo I took, as you can see, very large scale. This is like a full room. It's like three meters by two meters or even larger. A bit of a strange underwater sea figurine with large muscles and uh, large goggles and the line work all with pencil or charcoal or graffiti or so. Uh, the large hands here, pretty impressive. This was the first thing I saw in the first room I went into and well, I had to take a picture of it. And it's really interesting material because as you can see, the light from on top here is, it's kind of um, translucent, you know, it's a bit of a translucent paper. It's not normal paper paper. Uh, it's, it was a bit of a mixture of plastic and paper, but not canvas either. Strange material, and it's beautifully crafted here, hanging down by some chains. I, I don't know what that is. It's it's a um, made-up figurine with a skirt and otherwise naked. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting concept for sure. So... This one here, pretty cool. It's called Der Granatapfel mit der Fliege. So the pomegranate, uh, I think it's called, with a fly. But there is no fly here, at, as, uh, at least as far as I can see and tell. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed watching this very highly detailed and very good executed and crafted oil. I think it is oil painting of this fruit. Then uh, some dried out leaves of a bit of a palm tree or cacti. I think maybe it's aloe vera or something just hanging there. Dried out five pieces of some leaves. I thought this was a nice installation. Here you can also see the very uh, rugged and old wooden floor, hardwood floor. Very nice that the architecture of this place itself is really enjoyable and really incredible. This I found very funny. An old, old Nokia mobile phone. I think I even had one of those. Is it a 3210 or so? I absolutely love this. And then a made up little TNT bomb contraption <laughs> or so in a compressed pile of either dirt or plastic or is it a granite block? I'm not quite sure. And here we have um, hummus, uh, a few cans of hummus uh, work together as a bit of a TNT bomb uh, mock up here. Pretty funny. I found this very funny. Then pretty interesting and impressive. I really love this one. Uh, all white balloons on white little ropes and little stripes or strings here and then are all embedded and covered little wooden co swing contraption all covered with wax candle wax i think and yeah this really uh, filled the room standing there in the middle of the room no reason or no sense whatsoever behind it but i i thought it felt in really interesting and otherworldly 
And I really walked around a few times. I see it from any angle there was. And I just was in awe from this art installation. Very abstract, very unique indeed. Then we can see this one here in, in the background hanging here on the wall. Um, a bit of a selfie on the mirror, but with a skull of a deer maybe or so. And yeah, colorized. I think it's printed on a glass a plane or pane. And yeah, I just found this interesting um, installation or interesting portrait, self-portrait. It has some, some sort of you know, the x-ray machines uh, at the airport or so. It has the same kind of hue or glow to it, I think. Found it really unique selfie uh, colorization. Then we have some abstract pencil lines and drawings. Maybe this is just a study or so. You can see the frame is all uh, a bit rugged and run down. And uh, yeah, maybe someone can see a figure in there or a rock, a boulder, or something else. It's up for interpret interpretation, I think. Nice little study, though. Then, very, very cool, um, <laughs> the banana peel under the ladder. Would you walk under the ladder to slip upon the banana peel? This is very cool. We all know the superstitious little uh, myth here and there and yeah here the, is the question would you walk under the ladder and slip on the banana peel love this one this really tells a story pretty simple pretty cool absolutely incredible and I do believe the artist has to eat a banana every day <laughs> fresh because this exhibition goes on for quite a week I think for one week during the summertime and I, th I guess, you know, the banana peel looks rather fresh. He has to eat a banana every single morning and place it there as a new individual art installation. Love it. <laughs> then very interesting. Those three uh, next little glass containers. One, two, three. Very detailed work. Very filigrane. I don't know if those glass containers are sealed off via those vents here or, or ventiles into a vacuum I'm not quite sure but you know maybe some birds nest and a few leaves and dirt from the ground from the previous summer before um, little bits and bobs twigs and leaves from from the nature fallen onto the ground and maybe creating some sort of, has a bird's nest feel uh, to me I really enjoyed this also this very simple fine filigrane thorns filled twigs with some, I don't know, string or wool or cotton attached to it. I'm not quite sure, but it really looked amazing to me. It's just standing there in a nothingness of air embedded in glass. Very amazing. Then we have a, just a bare canvas stretched out. Very simple, very abstract. A few lines, a few shapes, a few colorizations here and a one little drip. I would have thrown it out, you know, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. If the little dripping here from colorizing all of that on top of there would have dripped down on me like that, I, yeah, that would have not been for me. But maybe <laughs> that's what the artists have thought here. They put it from the stretching frame and just hung it there, maybe as a study or so. I, I don't know. Art is complex and simple and fascinating and disturbing at the same time. I would have thrown it out because of the little drippings here. <laughs> Pretty uh, impressive that he had the willpower and the strength to still hang it up there. So two more to come. Um, they're more pure white here with other fine lines, abstract lines up for interpretation and it's obviously by the same artist same kind of technique same ah here we have that's a good dripping though this one really makes the picture you know it continues this rounded line i love this dripping here very nice and this one is also kind of clean no drippings here and this one is fine you know and i really love the texturizing here with the palette knife i think he scraped and scratched uh, the background Really nice. 
good artwork. I don't know why he though he pulled it off from the wooden frame. Even more here, if you he did it several several times, and yeah, I was really impressed by those. As you can see, I took several photos. Then a massive installation here lying on the floor. They're like two or three meters long. Those little columns or blocks, and then the very high. Um, high pixelation or uh, high DPI and very good colorization little squares a color study uh, black and white I really love this this was very you know to get it all glued onto this thing in a very precise way I, I love the precision in this in this installation really good handy craftsmanship very nice then that was also very impressive. Just on the plain bare wall, this is the actual wall, and then once again those um, plastic translucent pieces of paper, and then with a few fine nails into the wall, he hung up some straight um, cuttings of, I think, wire or so. And it's, um, yeah, does it tell a story? What does it tell? How does it look like? I don't know. It's just fascinating. Uh, I really love the imperfections here. It looks like a bit of a sine wave, maybe some waveforms. It could be horizons. It could be mountains. It could be waves. It could be anything, really. And he did another one, also very fascinating, this one. The fine, fine, thin line installed here with the wire directly onto the wall. Even more to come. This one was impressive as well. There uh, was once again this piece of yeah, linen or paper or, or plastic hanging from the wire. Really nice. Then a very cool installation here. Actual earth and dirt or soil poured onto the ground within the room on the wooden floor and a very grotesque skull glass structure standing here in the middle of it surrounded by whatever it is there is growing and the, there and you can see just a few moments ago when I walked into this room I can remember the artist came and watered all the little plants here you can see this is the dry soil and here's the wet soil he watered it literally there and maybe you could interpret it like you know a uh, a fantastic glass giant creature, like a dinosaur or alien even, on a large forest on Earth or a, a, an alien planet walking upon and uh, towering the forest and the trees that grow on this alien planet. Very nice and very creative installation here. Then some great photos. Um, very impressive because all of those photos were taken from a large-scale um, cardboard architectural model. We can see it here maybe the most. Mm, it was a real architectural study and landscape of uh, rock and cardboard uh, architectural study and, and uh, model. And he took somehow his camera and took photos from like detailed photos from parts of his installation, like on the inside. He even planted some yeah, leaves or dried out leaves he put into the installation and he took different angles and it, 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 that was really... To have the ability to craft this and then make even more art out of this, you know, out of it, taking photos from the module but with inside of it and then print it out it's it's a multi medial project really ambitious and really nice very nice and i love the you know the precision he hung up the six leaves of paper here very nice here even more even more he, look at that he even took limestone and wood little thingies and sand look look at that the stairs, all made out of cardboard and paper. And even the windows and the balcony frames. And it's... <laughs> Look at that. He even poured... I, I don't know what that even is. Gravel. 
Look, he even simulated the most tiny person sitting there all to get those angles and shapes and shadows and lines and forms. He poured rock, he poured concrete. It's really, really good. Absolutely wonderful work. This was a bit of a mural or fresco or wall painting. Flat Earth, uh, flat Earth cancel dance. <laughs> Pretty cool. Actual flat Earth here and two people to grotesque, grotesque figures sticking out their tongue and dancing upon the flat earth. Pretty cool. Then a uh, very interesting dot painting here, you know, stripe by stripe, dot by dot, painting for painting, um, comes to life as a fresco, I guess it's called, or another mural. But even though, but this is framed and on canvas, so... Um, yeah, it shows a bit of a room with a disco light ball on on top of the ceiling. A bit of a chess board, a surreal one. I, I cannot interpret, interpret what that is all about. But good work. Good work indeed. The detail is absolutely incredible. Very nice. Then a large glass plane again covered with actual um, little stickers that have some sort of flower or rose or tulip on it. And I don't, you know, feel free to count them. <laughs> feel free to count them. Uh, he just glued them onto there or just stick the stickers onto that and displayed it. Pretty, pretty interesting as well. I don't know what to make from this. Um, maybe it would have been more interesting to have different motives on each different sticker but also of course that it's always the very same motive on every sticker has a bit of an appeal to it as well <laughs> then we have some classic art classic artwork you know pastel or watercolor on paper or canvas bit of a sad crying face here and some nice abstract artwork some studies of color texture and materials and color gradings. Very nice, loved it. Bit of a shopping cart in either oil or acrylic. I think it's rather acrylic now. Acrylic, bit of a shopping cart with various stuff in it and a skull smoking a bit of a joint or a pipe or whatever it is. And uh, I don't know what those things are on the ground. Maybe raindrops. So who knows? Who knows? This was amazing. Who can decipher this? Zero one one zero one zero 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 one 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 zero one zero one zero one one zero one one zero one zero one one zero 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 one zero one one zero one 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 zero. That's a binary code. What does it say? What what is the code? What is the meaning behind that? actually painted and framed a bit of a binary code. Absolutely genius. Normal portrait, maybe a self-portrait of the artist. I do not know. I've never seen uh, the artists or the students. They were around, but I couldn't identify who was who. Uh, so, but yeah, nice study of a portrait here in, is that water? No, that's, that might be just acrylic or oil. Here, this is my cup of tea. A minimalistic abstract art, just, you know, color splashes, lines, shapes. Really nice. Uh, this is my type of art I really enjoy. It says nothing, but then yet again says and shows so much. The composition, the color choosing, it's, I love this type of art, just it's mine. And here we see those uh, two we have seen already. And then on top hung a bit of a study of a ocean, lake, body of water, uh, or maybe something totally different. I do not know, but I liked it nevertheless. Very good uh, work here. The lighting is amazing. The choosings of the different fine, different tunings of the lights and values and shadows and colors the the angle the perspective 
it's good work, good work, good study of architectural uh, artwork here. Very nice. I really enjoyed this one. Good work. A bit of a fish composition, some goldfish chilling in the ocean, in the lake, in the aquarium. Good work. Really nice painted, well crafted. Seems to be acrylic once again or oil. I can't really tell the difference. I'm not that well versed in art supplies yet. And yeah, a um, few more to come. We have quite a few. I took several photos. Here we have some grotesque studies and figures, abstract art, but real. I mean, look at the fine. Do you see the each individual separate lines? Very highly detailed, well executed, and perfect, perfect technique. I couldn't do that. The gradients. And the composition is nice as well. I don't know what that is, but it's amazing. Here we have, I, uh, that's Russian, I guess, maybe, or Greek. No, that's Russian. And uh, yeah, a bit of a maritime figure, again, chilling in the sun, <laughs> shine over the waterline. Here's some salt and pepper and a horse or a donkey and fire in the desert, alien space ships or spacecrafts or UFOs. There's a bull maybe back there, the devil, bit of a city underneath the flaming glass dome. Hmm. Is that Gandalf? <laughs> Who knows? I don't know what that is. Um, two more. The moon, bit of a abstract maybe. Is that... Uh, uh, What's it called? C cubism? No, that's not cubism. That's just abstract art. Kind of interesting. There's so many faces here. Look at those faces. And here and here and even the moon. Yeah. What's that? Um, very fine lines here once again. I don't know how you can even paint like that. Ah, okay, so there is an underpaint. I just seen it now. There is an underpainting, and then very, very many, very many straight individual lines, all made out of white um, color. Really fascinating technique here. Very nice. This is. Also, my cup of tea, a bit of a geometrical, abstract, minimalistic art. Really good technique here. You have to really measure this. And if this is hand drawn or hand painted, wow. Um, it takes a lot of patience and a lot of measuring and planning to do something like this. Incredible. Then, uh, composition of many paintings around here. A uh, bit of a tent. Uh, a bit of a surreal tent books kind of camping scene. Then we have a wooden cross, a color study, mm, texture study, actual strings here, drenched in color as well. What's that? A bit of a skull, a face, abstract art. Very nice. What else have we got? Oh yeah. Furthermore, that's also this could this one can could really hung in a modern contemporary art museum. No questions asked. Bit of a calligraphy, I think it's called, and then another abstraction. Another abstraction. This reminds me of Rothko. This this could be a mixture of Rothko and Mondrian alike. Love this one. Then some felt or some, ah, I don't know what the material is here. Then more abstractions here, a bit of a forest and a tree and a mountain. This one is really good. I don't know what the materials are. This one also nice abstraction. 
the use of color, the use of lines. And here, it, this might be a photography, but this here, if you just take this section, that is straight up Jackson Pollock. Maybe Jackson Pollock was inspired by, you know, the contrast. I also love that, um, the contrast between a naked tree without leaves and the, just the branches against the bright sky. Uh, I really love that. This is where the Jackson Pollock kind of lines and uh, yeah, artwork comes in somehow. Then a bit of a overly pink yeah, abstraction art <laughs> and face and whatever that is. And yeah, a grotesque session of people just hanging out, I guess. <laughs> nice study of blue, of texture and composition and values and shapes. Very nice. Maybe a water study. And yeah, there was a cute dog. I, I think we can, yeah, here we can see him a bit better. She was so cute. Very relaxed and patiently just chilling there in the corner, watching over the paintings, which are very uh, incredible. We're going to talk about it in a second. But man, such a cute dog. That was so nice. Everyone, <laughs> I'm standing here in, in, a, in a circle with other people. Everyone was photographing this dog chilling there in the corner. That was so cute. <laughs> and yeah, this was actually one of my favorite artworks throughout the day. As you can see, the scale, you know, it's quite huge. Uh, here on the wall. Uh, definitely oil, I think, and then just a contrast, bam, to the half circle here of the uh, yellowish line in in this circle-ish thing. Uh, now I know what it is. All this time, it's, it's the beginning of the moon, is it? The very first little percentage and phase of the moon in the night sky, is it? Now I get it. That must be it, I think. Here more photos of the dog. Of Look how the scale and how huge the room was. Very nice. Also, I love this type of artwork. Just, just plain old white flat background and then just scribblings, lines, a few colors, splashes, circles, lines here and there, and that's it. Could This could sell for millions and millions and millions at Sotheby's or Christie's. Who knows? It's, it's, if this is created by a famous artist, you know, who knows Gerhard Richter, uh, this could be selling for millions because of the scale and the, and the size. Love it. Also, this one, I don't know if it's a photography, but I, yeah, I think it is a composition of a bit of an act uh, photography and a nature photography here as well. Nice execution bit of a cloud or noise study. Very nice, monochrome. Uh, yeah, this one was kind of cool as well. A wrapped axe smashed into the wall, into the very corner of the wall. And yeah, just, just hanging there. Just an axe hanging in the wall. <laughs> then, mm, yeah, very complex here. It's two paintings with very complex technique. I don't know what to make out of this. But yeah, that is a complex piece of art and I like it. Also this this could hang in the in the Museum of Modern Art or so for millions and millions. Uh very new aspect ratio or very unusual aspect ratio the portrait or, or actually panorama uh, aspect ratio and once again i love minimalistic contrast you know pure black to different shades of yellow here and just stamped circles on it i i just that's my cup of tea right there then another installation here i love that this uh, little wrinkles is resembled kind of here on this whatever that is as well. I love that those two are right beside each other and that this 
whatever it is resembles a little bit this here. I don't know what to make out of it, but really nice. Oh, got to zoom out first. There we go. Here, a nice, large scale, warm, colorful study of abstraction as well. Nice technique, well executed. Really cool. Maybe it's a rose or could be inside, you know, the guts of inside of a body of someone. Uh, a mac microscopic level. Could be bacteria on microscopic level. It could be anything. Really good. Then, also very interesting, a bit of a cat or devil or figurine or monument or sphinx with different skulls in it and line scribblings and the use of color. It, it's ferocious. It has an energy to it. It has a sadness to it. It has a badness to it, but it's overwhelming. It's much, but it says something and it's angry. It's full of emotion. It's, um, yeah, it's an energetic painting here. In contrast, then, the more uh, clear lines and shapes here on this abstraction. Very nice. I love that those two are together as a contrast here as well. Here in detail. And oh, <laughs> the dog. And once again, she was so cute, so relaxed. And there was really quite a few people in the room. And she is literally just chilling there and even sleeping. Look at her. So calm, so relaxed. Mm, a few caps or hats. It girl, it girl, it girl hanging in there on the wall. Um, what's that? A bit of a yeah, surrealistic abstraction. Could be some teeth, an octopus, maybe some lips, or a, a hot air balloon. I, I, I. That's what I see. Could be anything. What's up here? Oh yeah, a nice. Abstraction once more, going slowly into the Gerhard Richter material up here, and he ah oh, straight up uh, Jackson Pollock, one of my favorite artists. I love this type of artwork so so much. It just, you know, yes, a three-year-old could do it, but on the other hand, no, because of the composition and the spacings and the lines and the shape of the lines and. It's just, it's a signature. It's its a direct resemblance of the hand work and the hand line and the brain and the soul as well. And yeah, you know, when to stop? When is it finished? Could it use more layers? I love this type of work. Here yeah, also, this was really nice. Once again, canvas with a few, um, actually some writing on it and some little flags or pieces of paper. Those were actually stuck into the wall, into the canvas on each little uh, needle here was hanging down a little note or I don't know what that is called. But yeah, interesting. I love the color gradient. You know, the, the harmony of the color here really comes nicely together. It could be to me, a summer f wheat field of, you know, the, the just beginning to grow stems of wheat in a field. But yeah, it's ah, it overwhelms me. <laughs> here we see here the scale. Look at that. There is a woman. You can see the scale. Really big wall here. Very nice. Absolutely great room. This one was. And I was just about to say, hey, look, another dog. But <laughs> no, this was a pap mache or a yeah, cardboard kind of pig or dog or alien. I don't know what that is, but yeah, very cute indeed. <laughs> <laughs> then very large as well. Yeah, oh, the little lines here. Minimalistic, just scribblings. Polo-esque, but then still planned out, more refined. Very nice, very nice. And yeah. I don't know. That's just a print, I guess. I don't know what that is. 
we continue. I really love this one because of, of the green and the individual lines here. Little scribblings. It's like pulled out grass from a lawn or a grass field and thrown onto the canvas and then somehow embedded onto it, the fresh cut grass. Then a few portraits of the devil dancing down in hell <laughs> and a, t a pulled out tooth. What is that doing there? Mm, what's that? Just some studies of stick figures in a very peculiar and individual way. Some studies of anat not really anatomy, but rather positions, I guess. <laughs> this one here, really good, very well executed. We can see this one, this mask. This one is definitely by the same artist. Mm, this one is really one of the better ones. Very good. Yeah, scene and composition, surreal in a fantastic forest, a fairy tale, a dream, a glass chair or a chair out of water. And yeah, very nice, very nice. Even more of the same artist, it seems like. This reminds me of, I think it's Matisse because of the, you know, the, the swinging of the arm. So the anatomy is really not perfectly resembled. I, th I think the other one was called Matisse, like the very famous one. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Look, look how the, the bubbles of water here, the body of water is nicely executed here as well. And wow, look at this one. Bit of a dragon or a snake in a starry sky in a cave or alien world. With skulls and plants. Wow. Once more, a bit of a fairy dream. Maybe a nightmare even. With wolves and, bi and bats and fire through the night. Wow, good, good picture, good painting. Here, very nice abstract art. Once again, great use of composition here. The dots nicely even spread out. The lines are curving and different colors and a few te details here and there. Bit of a cat and a woman chilling. And what's that? And uh, what's that? Uh, uh, a stamper, a uh, stapler, and uh, a locher. I don't know what that is called. Another one. This goes once more into Gerhard Richter repertoire. Very nice. And wow, look at this wall installation here. This is made out of, yeah, strings, wool, Little rocks, pebbles, pap mache, cardboard, anything. Could be a map. It could be just nothing. And maybe, you know what that is? A large, large dream catcher. This reminds me of a dream catcher. And then, I'm not going to go through all of it now, but all from the same artist, obviously. Many studies of sing or portraits of singular objects or things that don't particularly exist but in her mind they existed and um oops yeah oh. she has a great fantasy mm, another composition uh, old internet is that hand drawn 
Warte, war Old Internet Browser? Curtain. Just a color. Oh, that's a swimming pool from above. Don't know what that is. Just some studies. He is obsessed with lines. Right, look at that. All perpendicular, very nicely executed. He he loves lines, this artist. Really good. Wow, and look at this one. This really has a plasticity and depth to it unknown uh, before. I have no idea. Maybe I mean, this is obviously a, a grass, a lawn, but then maybe is it trees? Is it a forest? There's ocean back there. Maybe some sand dunes, hills behind. It really has a very impressive depth to it. And yeah, this was interesting. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I brought my album to the place and uh, laid out how many? To, uh, six, six albums of mine. Listen to me. I, you know, I'm an artist as well. I wanted to take part. So I snuck in there and just literally uh, for free laid out six albums <laughs> of mine and said, listen to me. Listen to me. I wanted my music to be heard by the students. <laughs> so what I wanted to say is this this thing here. I have no idea what this all means. Feel free to translate it or read it or whatever. Um, rubber mixture based on non-cross-linked rubber, cross-linked rubber particle and multifunctional isocyanate process for the production of high purity bent sulfenamides. Jesus. Um, yeah, I have no idea what that is. But yeah, that, that, wa that was actually a piece of art. It was printed out. And then we have some bit of a tower made out of... I think, yeah, this was pressed paper. I think compressed and densely pressed recycled paper uh, composed into a tower here then some seagulls or pigeons crabs and yeah ocean wow look at this one that is one of the best ones as well bit of a little girl a little boy but what what study it is man what portrait the scale, the colors, the gradients, the execution. It's huge. More. That's also a really good one here. It might be the same. Yeah, yeah, it's the same position. This one and this one is definitely by the same. It's the same composition or the same, you know, the, the, the boy looking to the right bottom. Also this one here. And doing something with his hands. Yeah, yeah. It's the same artist. Some ink dots. What was that? Ah, yeah, this was also. This was painted. This is a bit of a machinery from a photo, I guess, from a truck that pours the, the concrete for the road. But this is hand painted. But in such a great light, the lighting here really the lighting of the material really makes it shine like a photograph and it's huge bit of a tree study there was so many cool paintings all around another mur mural of is is that pencil or paint i don't know what it is but yeah different different postures of this woman and wow <laughs> uh so many photos to come i can't speak anymore <laughs> i'm just speed running it now feel free to stop ah oh, this one is real oh, this one is nice the bird flying over the village here Wow.
and even more look at that and also this was impressive from a, um, a license store the surveillance camera and then print it as a photo and then paint it. Wow. Dogs, abstractions, colorful things. And uh, have we reached the end? No, no, still to go, still to go. A cloud study. Mm, more paintings. I'm speed running now. I can't anymore. It's been 45 minutes. Bit of a witch. A little cute dog and wow okay this is pretty this has to be um look at the scales of the figurines of the persons here and then the dog very nice nature study abstractions abstractions a huge mountain on a huge wall what wow, this is oh my god uh, on glass just some ink drops and it's just, oh, I love that. Very, very great execution here. Absolutely incredible. More incredibleness, abstract art, simple minimalistic lines. More, more, more. Bit of a furry <laughs> toilet, all in felt and fur. More abstractions. Love this one here. Cubism a little bit and wow look at that it's a cool thing since you know it's January 24 now and I was there in June or July 23 so a half a year ago um, this one yeah I have to tell you something about this this is tea tea spread out so cooked tea spread out on this large, large canvas and then embedded or engraved in a wax or acrylic kind of um, preservance material. A lot of tea, cooked tea, and washed along here this very long canvas. Really nice work. Look how what tea, what kind of incredible lines tea can give you. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, more lines. I love lines. Abstractions. Bit of a towel. Ink dots. Come on, speedrun. Let's go. Once more. Abstraction. Minimalism. Sunflowers. From Van Gogh himself. No, of course, but yeah, a bit of a still life study. Abstractions. Very nice. What? You porn. <laughs> okay. The season lured the fisherman. The siren. The siren lured the fisherman? What? I love you and I don't need a reason for this. Oh. Mirror on the wall. Nice. Oh, look at this one. Huge. Incredible. And yeah, actual photo out of the window of Munich here. Yeah? The Frauenkirche. Yeah, in the middle of the, in the heart of Munich. And yeah, a huge Korean, I think it was Korean, um, calligraphy installation onto the wall. Very nice. Absolutely huge. Some prints. Ah, and that's it. We've reached the end, ladies and gentlemen. That was a great day, a great experience of all the paintings of the Munich Art Academy I've visited in June 2023. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments how you liked the little tour. What is your favorite picture, your favorite painting, your favorite installation? Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along. Uh, see you next time. Once again, take care. Thank you and bye-bye.